And let's just put it this way. If you're doing it on your own, mm -mm. think about this. <laughs> a surgeon knows how to cut into people and operate, right? But are they going to be any good operating on themselves? Not really likely. An attorney, an attorney with years of experience gets into trouble with the law. Are they going to really help themselves? They know everything about the law, and they've done it for a million years. But are they really going to do that well for themselves? Nope. Sorry. You know, there was a saying about the attorney thing, was that a person who represents themselves as an attorney at law as a fool for an attorney. You might just say the same thing about music. Really. <laughs> so many people sound like shit, sound average, have problems, the same problems over and over and over and over again. And they're trying to do the surgery on themselves. They're trying to write that summons and complaint by themselves. Mm -mm. I don't care how many years of experience you have. But the more years of experience you do have and the more that you keep failing, doesn't that say something here? You need someone who knows what they're talking about and can practice what they preach, hold your hand, and take you to the next level and turn that light bulb. Why aren't you doing it? It's usually cha-ching. Cha-ching. A little something about myself before I let you go. My freshman year in college, everybody was taking a half an hour to an hour lesson, right? And that was kind of included in the curriculum. What did I do? I got a job at Kroger in Tennessee. Started bagging groceries. They called it a courtesy clerk. I did that so I could pay for Two hours of lessons every week for the entire freshman year in college. So I was doing double duty, and I paid out the you-know-what for that. Guess what? What I got in return, nobody has ever been able to take away from me. Gold in my pocket. Did I have to pay for it? Yes. Did I pay someone else who was actually like me? Yes. I paid a trumpet teacher to college. Did they make money off of me? Yes, they made money off of me. A lot. But I got good, I got educated, and I got what I needed. In fact, I've triple advanced myself by doing that. So if you're sitting there and says, cha-ching, you'd rather have $200 in your bank account instead of get better at your instrument, <laughs> and you're like 50 or you're 60, I feel sorry for you. Real sorry. Real sorry. Yes, check your bank account and be happy that you got that $200 or $300 in your account and it makes you feel warm and fuzzy. And then get out your horn and you play like crap. Or you go to rehearsal and you can't last. Or you can never play lead or when you do play lead you sound like shit. So yes. You do all that, and at the end of the day, you open up your bank account and feel all warm and fuzzy that you got those extra dollars that you never spent on your education. Extra education. I don't care if you have a PhD or DMA. If you aren't playing that well, at this point in life, my friend, you didn't spend enough on your education. Bar none. The way it is. And think about me years ago as a little bitty skinny freshman, 18 year old freshman in college, working my freaking ass off, bagging groceries, taking that crap out in the rain in Tennessee so I could take two one hour lessons each week for a year. Amazing, amazing right? Now you're probably thinking, uh, what a tool. Well, this tool that you might be thinking of kicked everybody's butt, and now here I am right now, teaching people that got DMAs, PhDs, Masters. So that extra hour of lesson each week when I was 18 has become gold, big golden nuggets in my pocket. 
Would I have rather bought a new car? Yes. Would I have rather watched the numbers grow in my bank account? To 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000? Yes. But would I have rather sucked it and been average? Mm -mm. No. You got a choice to make. And you can get on your laptop now and check your bank account and be warm and fuzzy that you have an extra couple hundred dollars in your bank account. But you're going to go to your rehearsal this week and suck ass. Or you're going to flip flop and actually do what you know you need to do. Come on now. Am I talking to a 40 year old, a 50 year old, a 60 year old who still can't play? You should be playing better than me. You're a lot older than I am. But why aren't you? Priorities, my friend. And you make the wrong choices in life and you kind of sow what you reap, right? Or reap what you sow. Good old Bible verse. You have a good night and you really think about what I said. Get out your horn. See if you can do what I did right off the cuff at the beginning of this video. Too hard? It really shouldn't be hard at all. It should be easy at this point in life. That's my lecture to you, especially to my older trumpet playing friend. You should not have arrived at 40, 50, 60, or 70 and be sucking it. I don't care if you have a million dollars in your account, what's that worth if you suck it? Bye-bye. Subscribe, click on my website link, and go on to the next video. It's lovely out here. Have a great day.